Hey guys, welcome back to Expo Hub channel. Today we are going to see one of the, you can say it as a tricky question or else it could be a, even a simple question if you know the right option here. Let's read the question. A developer used the robotic enterprise framework to create a performer process, right? Where you are going to action uh, on the transaction. You are going to process the transactions. Okay. In which states, state or states is the queue item status updated so when you are pulling from the queue when you are pulling the queue items to your re framework and you are doing to going to do a transaction that time in which states the queue item status get updated so these are the four options given to you so highly possible many might even choose this option process transaction only so if you are choosing this option, this is a wrong answer. It cannot be just process transaction only. There is also another state where the queue item gets updated. So if you do not know, this video is going to help you. So first of all, we are going to open the RE framework. Okay. First of all, we know in the process transaction state, right? Any anytime you come in, just try to minimize everything so that it will be easy for us to understand. So in the process transaction state, right, this is where you are processing the transaction. Now let me expand it. So when you are processing, you are calling in the processes, process.xml file and you are processing your transaction in this workflow. Now just below this, you have something called invoke set transaction status. Okay. So this invoke set transaction status is a place which is part of your process transaction so this answer is correct there is also another place so here if you open this particular workflow okay if you have gone through the entire uh, re framework playlist if not please go through that because all this would make more sense so here we are updating the transaction status using this activity set transaction status successful so using this set transaction status activity right using this activity we are updating the status in the queue successful paid right business rule exception so using this activity we do it so this is one of the place we got to know right let me close it okay so in the process transaction state is one of the place where we update the queue we understood that how about other what is the other state let me show you also in the get a transaction data okay now if you go inside the get transaction data you do not have a di direct activity called set transaction status. If you go to even to this workflow, right? Let me go slow so that it will be easy. So here I am in the get transaction data. And here in this try get transaction data, there is a, we are calling in the get transaction data dot XML file. We are invoking. Now if you open this particular workflow, you do not see a set transaction status activity. But this activity get transaction item okay so this activity is responsible to update the queue so how do i get to know whether it's updating the queue or not so highlight this activity and read through the description box that appears when you highlight any activity right highlight this so it says this activity gets an item from the queue so that you can process it very simple that is the job of this activity starts the transaction so this th this activity will start the transaction and set its status to in progress so it is it is pulling the transaction or the queue item from the queue and set its status to in progress so this activity is also responsible to update the queue status right so your correct answer is get transaction data and a process transaction okay these are the two different areas get transaction data this state right let me go to the main so there are two state get transaction data state and the process transaction data state these are the two states where the queue status get updated getting it why this answer is the right answer many might even choose this so this is a wrong answer this is the right answer Okay, guys, so thank you so much for watching it. We are going to come up with most interesting 
and conceptual contents for you which is going to help you build your conceptual knowledge before you appear for any interview or a certification thank you guys take care bye bye